What's going on everybody? Andrew here for AmarilloPepper.com, the hot sauce barbecue sauce jerky and fiery snack store. Today I've got another hot sauce for you. Uh, review from uh, Fat Cat Hot Sauce. That's their Cat and Heat brand of hot sauce, which as you can read on the side here, it's a 10 out of 10 for them. It's uh, this sculpt, sultry, scorching, smoky concoction boasts a complex Creole-inspired blend of ghost peppers, habaneros, chipotles, roses, tomatoes, cilantro, smoked paprika, and more with an ever-increasing heat level that lingers long in the mouth. Kick up your sandwiches, eggs, barbecue, stews, chili with just a few drops and use the base of the mouth for searing and mouth-watering chicken wings. Uh, don't expect this kitten to purr. It also has a uh, ghost chilies. I skipped over that for some odd reason. Uh, it, uh, we've got uh, fire roasted tomatoes. We've got chipotle peppers in adobo. If you don't know what adobo is, it's a uh, Spanish style sauce um, that uh, is made with uh, uh, onions and garlic and uh, salt and things like that. Um, it's used a lot in Mexican cooking as well. Um, you got uh, red wine vinegar, roasted red bell peppers, tomato paste, water, habanero peppers, onion, green bell peppers, lemon juice, ghost peppers, uh, sea salt, mustard, and garlic, sugar, cilantro, and smoked Spanish paprika. Ghost chili was known as the hottest chili in the world for a while, and it has since been outranked by many other chilies um, but it ranks in at around a million Scoville heat units um, right on a regular basis it's also known as well it's known as the Buchalokia and the ghost chili is its nickname because it has a very slow lingering burn uh, the sauce itself is a nice brownish red consistency and color I don't know why I said consistency, but it has a nice, it's a nice, smooth, chunky, cons smooth yet chunky consistency, it looks like. Um, and as I'm pouring it out, it looks more brown than red. Get a full spoon there. As you can see there, it's got a nice bit of chunk to it, but it's a it's a good pouring sauce. Ooh, made a mess. It's got that standard Creole smell to it from all the um, the the fire roasted tomatoes come out immediately. You can smell some of the turmeric. Um, from the mustard all the uh, different onions and peppers in here and the paprika it's got an immediate kick from the um, from the habanero and the heat's starting to build up from the ghost chili definitely has a nice the garlic and onion flavor you can taste the cilantro there and the smokiness from the uh, the, the peppers because um, it has the the, the it has smoke uh, fire roasted tomatoes and ghost chilies have a uh, a natural smokiness to them man um, I would use this in most cases, um, anything that you're trying to get a smoked flavor on, pulled pork would be a really good, um, any sort of barbecue would be good with this because it has that inherent smokiness and this would just complement it extremely nicely. Um, it would also go as a topping for um, like beans and rice, uh, jambalaya, um, any, any other Creole style dishes. Um, so go ahead and... Uh, Give the this fat cat cat and heat a check out at Armadillo Pepper. You can find it on their website armadillopepper.com and their walk-in store here in Jacksonville. Um, and you can also like Armadillo Pepper on Facebook. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Andrew, and I'll see you on the next review.